Hey everybody, this is Lex from Admin Arsenal. Today's video is prompted by a little bit of back and forth on the blogs about what you can and can't do in an install step in PDQ Deploy. So uh, I'm going to take you through what you can do and then I'm also going to point out some common mistakes that are made uh, while doing install steps. So first of all, there are <clears throat> six different types of things you can run in an install step. Everybody's familiar with the uh, exe files and the msi files probably familiar with the batch files, but uh, you can also run registry changes, a reg file, a PowerShell script, a PS1 file, a VB script, a, obviously a VBS file. So those are the other things we can do. So we're going to walk through and do that. So um, I'm going to go right here. We're going to create a new package and uh, we'll just call this one install steps. Okay. We'll go to step one, which is an install step. So I'm going to go, why don't we start with a uh, very common an exe file. It's something everybody knows. Okay. So exe file, you'll look down at the bottom down here, the command line will run the exe file. Now suppose you need to add arguments or silent parameters, right? Where that's supposed to happen is right here, you know, slash s or, um, you know, reboot equals no kind of a thing. Okay, that's where that belongs. What we see happening a lot is people won't add it there. You'll notice if I put it there, it, it appends it to the end. What will happen is people come here and hit custom and go add things here. Okay, and uh, not the place to do that. Uh, it's not a good place for it. We left that in there because there are instances where um, it is important to be able to change that, but rarely will you ever need that. It, will you ever need to check custom and change that? So, so that's an exe file. Um, let's uh, let me clear out these. We'll go change this over to the MSI file. So here is our MSI file. Now, once again, because of the extension on the file, we know what to run in the command line for you. So the command line now is an MSI execute. Okay, we've already got the standard MSI. You know, all users equals one, quiet and no restart. Those are default. Okay, if you need to change those, we can come up here and click and change. You can add a repair, always uninstall. Again, this is where you do that. You don't need to go down and check custom and change it there. Okay, if you do this here, you'll see how it changes down there. Okay, that's your MSI. Let's uh, move on to a batch file. Everybody's fairly familiar with batch files. Again, here. You've got your command exe. We know it because of the uh, batch, the extension on the batch file. And again, put the parameters in the parameter line. Any arguments, anything you need to pass in, that's where it goes. It'll get appended on the end of the command line. You don't need to check custom. I think I'm beating that check custom to death, but I see it a lot. So um, just add it to the parameter level. So let's go talk about a few that uh, are not so common. Uh, registry change. We're going to make a change to the registry. So it's an reg file can run that there. You'll see down on the command line it changes the, to a uh, reg edit exe with the front slash s and the name of the file. Uh, again, reg registry changes don't usually take parameters, so there you go. That's how that one's done. Let's take a look at a PowerShell script. Okay, so you'll notice again the command line, we changed the command line to be able to run the PowerShell script for you. Uh, again, arguments in that, add them here. Okay, so, I don't know, W and R, we'll just add those. You'll notice they append to the end. It's going to run great. Okay. And then, uh, finally, let's look at the VBS, the Visual Basic Script. Okay, you'll notice we're running a C script EXE. And again, parameters and arguments, just put them on the parameter line. They'll get appended on to the end. Wham, bam, there you go. It's going to run. Uh, we've got some more videos on how to build packages out there at videos.adminarsenal.com. Check those out. I'm Lex. I hope this was helpful. Thanks.